Hey, Michaelina. All right, 143 South Bryan Road, okay? Um, that's my car right there, but uh, these people over here kind of showed up while I showed up and said, hey, we're looking at this place, can you show it to us? Um, so they're kind of like just looking around, but um, uh, I don't think you have to worry about that, okay? Um, this is, I'm standing in the middle of the front yard. Um, the, the house sits back off the road um, at least probably, you know, 70, 80 yards. So, I mean, you've got a pretty long driveway that comes all the way out here. I'm trying to get to up here to the road. Okay. You got a big ditch right here. All right. You're out here in the middle of nowhere. There's a dirt road that goes to um, some other mobile homes and stuff. That's what's across the street. Very, very quiet out here. Okay. All right. So, um, there is a big uh, concrete slab right here in the middle of the front yard. Um, and I'm taking it that there's a septic system here somewhere. Um, so I, I'm thinking that it's probably over here in this, this flat area in the yard. I don't think it's out back, but it could be over to the side over there. Okay. You do have this big concrete slab over here. That's probably, you know, 12 by 20. I mean, it's pretty big concrete slab. All right. There's this little building out here in the front that has office written on the front door. Okay, but if you open the door, that is a, I want to say that's a chicken coop. I mean, I grew up on a farm and that's kind of what our chicken coop looked like. I mean, a little different, but still kind of the same. All right, um, go over here. The two car detached garage um, has, um, we just found the keys for that, but all right. We'll look at the front of the house. You're sitting on an acre, so I don't know. I gotta find out if that green building over there comes with it or not, but I think it does. Um, but we'll go check that out. You got this other ditch thing it's in the front yard right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but you do have like a drain culvert thing here. All right, and you got a ditch that runs all the way over to the neighbor's property. So I'm sure that if it rains hard, you probably want to get some uh, water running through here, and then the drain and the ditch comes out on the other side of that driveway. Okay, <coughs> go check out the house. I really like this right here. That's cool looking. Now, it looks like the home's been vacant for a minute um, and the yard needs a little bit of TLC. It needs, you know, either the rake sleeves and, or the leaves raked, rake sleeves, um, but needs a uh, mode at least. All right, so you walk in. Um, this is, I want to say this is um, a laminate flooring, like a linoleum. They just rolled it out into a pattern, okay? Um, so it's not LVP, it's not laminate flooring, it's literally like rolled vinyl. Um, okay, living room, not bad size. There's a couple of things in the mid middle of this. I think there might just be white marks or whatever, um, but I think they might be able to clean off, but the house just needs cleaned, okay? So if you walk in the front door, if you walk straight, there's the dining area. Um, you got a back door to the uh, to the back deck, which I love. You got another back door to the back deck over there, and then you got your kitchen here. Home does not come with a refrigerator. Okay. View of the uh, kitchen. The countertops, cabinets, all look like they're in really good shape. Um, appliances, dishwasher looks like it's a little bit worn. Um, I would want to check the age on that and make sure that thing still works, but that might need to be replaced. Um, stove looks good, but it's dirty, so it needs to be cleaned. Um, and then you got the double sink over here in front of the uh, window. Okay. I do like these, uh, these doors over here. You've got the big living room area over here, which is also, um, rolled out linoleum. Okay. You got a big window wood burning fireplace okay and at first I thought in the pictures that this was um, like a rolled on wallpaper but that's actual stone so that looks good okay I do like the big mantle as well 
All right. But nice size room. Um, you know, this place is spacious, you know what I mean? Um, was 1,674 square feet, built in 2010. Three bedrooms, two baths, sitting on an acre. I like the stonework right there in the kitchen as well. All right, so we're gonna come back here. This is spare bedroom number one. All the carpets need replacing. This room right here kind of stinks a little bit. Um, and I don't know, it kind of smells like a mix between wet dog and like it's been shut up for a long time and it just kind of smells musty. Okay, but that carpet definitely needs to be replaced. Um, you've got uh, a single single door closet. Okay. Like I said, you can see the stains on the carpets and stuff. Carpet needs to be replaced. Okay. Go over here to this next room. Um, is the spare bathroom. Uh, standard tub shower. No stains on the ceilings though throughout the whole house, so that that's not bad. Um, single sink vanity. Hey, how you doing? All right. And you got the fishes on the bottom of the tub. That is a plus right there. Okay. Um, same linoleum uh, flooring that is in the living room. Okay. And then you got uh, bedroom number two right here. Like I said, the carpet still needs to be replaced in this one as well. Okay. So you can see the stains on the carpets. Then you still got the same standard one uh, one door closet. Okay. Go down and check the other side of the house out. So we can either go this way, which is towards the front door, and you can go this way. This is the master. All right. So it's a big room. Carpet still needs to be replaced. Okay. Master bathroom. I like double sinks. Big wall mirror. Okay. Big walk-in closet. I like a big walk-in closet. Okay. You got a stand-up shower. All right, walk-in shower, toilet, then you have um, a big soaker tub, okay? And then you got some cabinets over here, um, kind of like linen cabinets, oh, kind of like some linen cabinets, all right? And then if you walk through this door, this is the laundry room, okay? Now remember, we came in through this way, where the master bedroom is. And you can come out this way through the laundry room. This pipe right here is leaking a little bit. So there's some water damage underneath here. You feel that it's wet right here like it's still leaking. And it kind of went down to the floor. So the floor's got a little problems as well. All right. Your electrical panel. You can probably close it off as another closet. And your air handler's right here. Okay, so not a bad size um, uh, laundry room. And then you go out to the back porch. I like the back deck. Probably one of my favorite things about the house here. Um, plenty of room for table, chairs. You can hang out in here. Um, you know, all you're looking at is woods back here, which is awesome. Very quiet. Okay. You don't really see your neighbors. You see their barn over there. That's about it. You don't see their house. Okay, but I do like the uh, yard. I'm not exactly sure where the uh, septic is, um, but I'm sure they'll find it when we order a septic inspection. Okay, I just want to walk out here a little bit. So, there's that little green shed. Looks like a tree fell on it. All right, a view of the back of the house. All right, now that uh, middle brace needs to be fixed. Right there, either bring some steps off of it or they gotta put a new railing up. Okay, um, roof looks kind of old. Um, I know the house is built in 2010, so I would say that it's probably um, original to the house, along with this HVAC unit, it's probably original to the house. All right, 
and they got a big dish here, but um, this is the shed. Is this is this locked or unlocked? It's locked back. You can go no, you're good. So um, this is a uh, detached two-car garage. It's empty. It looks pretty good inside. All right. All right. I'll send you this video as soon as I can get it downloaded, um, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye. -bye.